Welcome back. Um, in the studio with me, I don't know how to start this one. <laughs> <laughs> Maurice Mugisha, it's good to have you in the studio. Thank good, you. but Thank weird. You. Because you're supposed to be on this end asking the question. Well, it's an interesting scenario. I'm happy to be on this other side. What does it feel like? Weird. I guess you used the right <laughs> word. Um, it's unco an uncomfortable position. I guess I now understand how it feels to be on the other side when you ask the tough questions. Maybe. I'm tough hoping questions for the easy questions. I never give those. You, you said farewell um, a while back, and I thought we thought it was only right that you come and say farewell to the people who watched you for a long time and followed your journey all of those years. So here we are. Thank you for agreeing to come to this interview. Is it an interview? I don't know. Um, it's a conversation. Yes. Uh, thank you, Josephine. Um, and I'm excited that it's actually you doing the interview. I guess they must have picked the other oldest person in the newsroom <laughs> to do the interview. So that's the most interesting bit. Um, but it's, um, it's a very touchy moment for me. Uh, you know, NTV has been part of my life. I, I, I got married when I just, I just joined NTV. So my marriage is as long as my life at NTV, 12 months, 12 years. So um, it's been part of me. So you have, you're born, you're raised, you go to school, and then you get married, and then you work. For me, marriage and my work have been one and the same. So my kids are learning to understand that there's a new office. I'm learning to understand that I'm ha I must do something else. And um, it's different. The house seems, even the house seems different. Everything just seems different. That I, I can't um, say I work at NTV anymore. And I find it difficult. Uh, even when I'm asked, where do you work? Uh, you know, you pause for a moment, then say, your new employer. Wow. Well, before we get into your, your now and your future, we dug up a few clips. You know we do that. We wanted to see what it's Gosh. been like for you. So let's look at you back when the suits wouldn't fit. My let's, let's take a look at those clips. NTV, turning on your world. And action. Good evening and welcome to NTV Tonight. I'm Maurice Mugisha. I'm Rosemary Nankavira. And with that, we end NTV tonight. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Which of those moments stands out for you? Which one do you remember? Oh, and gosh. Let me take you um, I, I can't forget the day we were going on air, uh, about the right time we were starting NTV, 2006. So that, that has a lot of um, uh, connections to, to, to my you know, 12 years at NTV. Uh, that was the first time we were uh, going to be seen on air after several months of air from the previous employer. And uh, it was also the first time, by the way, not many people knew that I was going to work with uh, Rosemary because we were doing different things with, at, at the former, you know, um, our former job. Um, and then we were excited. We were very young, very excited about this new challenge. We had heard and watched on TV Kenya for quite some time and we wanted to be part of the organization. And that for me stands out. Uh, but the other is that you, you can tell how, how old I become <laughs> with the lesser hair I have on my head. So <laughs> and the lesser color in the hair. I didn't want to say that. I, you I you did have to you. bring it up. <laughs> so what's, what's the journey been like for you, stepping in and stepping out now? It's been very exciting. Um, if somebody asked me, would you want to do it again? Yes, I would want to do it again, all over again, because um, every single year um, we learn quite a lot in, in, in not just at NTV but in journalism. Uh, at the time we were almost the monopoly in the industry in terms of news. 
Uh, we were the new kid on the block. Everyone was excited to watch us. We had great soaps. We had great news. We had a fantastic team of reporters. And we were very young and vibrant, uh, full of energy, and we wanted to impress. So all of us went out of our way to deliver um, on every single assignment we were given. And I can tell you that uh, I had never worked with such a team of people that wanted to do much more than they were mandated to do. And this was a newsroom of very young people. And I probably understand our news manager then, Betty, might have found it a little difficult because we had a social life which we liked, we, we really <laughs> loved, we, we liked to party in the evening because it was cool to party then. We were you know, known in town and we didn't have competition. So it was easy to go and own up spaces wherever you went. And then during the day, we tried to uh, you know, do much more than any other media house would do, whether it was print or radio. We tried to always get the other story. We tried to make sure we had the best contacts, the best sources. We were always on top of the story. And even with the guidance and supervision we had, we noticed we always delivered more than any other person. It didn't matter whether it was Mother's Day, whether it was an election, whether it was a disaster. Somehow, NTV became the source of news and the go-to place for information. And so for me, that was a very exciting period, and I'm super proud to have been part of this um, 12 year journey of NTV. And now stepping out of that journey? It feels weird, it feels different. Uh, for a bit, I know a lot of employers who will be saying, but you refused my offer 10 years ago, you refused my offer five years ago. What changed? And I, I guess uh, I changed, maybe. Um, and I think it's, it's when you grow a little older, you start, it, you start asking yourself the questions of what if I could, what, what if? You know, something like this uh, came your way, would you take it? Uh, what if I had done this two years ago? How, where would I be right now? So I guess I'm trying to answer some of those questions right now of what would I do outside of NTV? Because everyone said, you're NTV, you're part of NTV, you're part of the brand NTV. The day you walk out, you will disappear and nobody will remember you, but they'll only remember what you did at NTV. And so I probably want to challenge myself and see what more can I do outside of my comfort zone. This was really very comfortable for me. Uh, and, and I'm happy about it, and I'd really want, I would have wanted the journey to continue, but I just wanted to get out of the comfort zone and see how, you know, and explore new challenges and, okay. and see what else I could do out there. So um, the decision, I guess, was made for me, made it, made it easier because I had done the 12 years and I had celebrated 12 years at NTV, and it became easier to make the decision to make the jump. Um, but if you had asked me two years ago, I would say no. If this job had come two years ago, I would still have said no. So I guess it's the right me timing. who has grown old. <laughs> yeah. In, in your next assignment, are you going to be in front of the camera, behind the camera, managing people? I, I hope lesser on the camera. Um, I think they But you will be on the camera, I, I, in front I, of them. I guess I can't run away from TV. I honestly think um, me and you will never run away from TV for quite some time, even if we try. Um, I, I know, I know, you, 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 <laughs> even if we try. There will be a time when, you know, we will be asked at some stage to do certain things for um, different players, whether local or international. And I guess TV, for me and you, is part of our DNA. And so you can't, you know, just jump out of it. Um, I'm hoping I can stay away a bit, um, develop and, and, and work with young people, try and support as many young people to join the industry, um, see what more we can do with the, you know, the organization I'm working for. Um, I'm happy for the management and administration part of my new role, uh, but I, I can't rule out the fact that someday I could have a you cool might. idea, someone could have a fantastic program, and I would, I would want to be part of it. All right. What would you say, and this is my final question to you, because I know a lot of people have grown up looking up at you and there are young people who know Maurice Mugisha. Yeah. What would you say to a young tuck that's just starting out and they want to pick a little of, of what you have to share? Well, um, I think we, fortunately for me and you, was that the setting was different. And so we had an opportunity presented before us to uh, grow um, into who we became. And the, the dynamics are a little different right now. So you have, uh, I guess the audience has become wider, but you also have a wider competition. So with the citizen journalism and new media, um, you don't necessarily have to do TV like me uh, and Josephine. You can actually turn your phone into your new employer. And you could do your own television show, you could do your own program um, on, on, on your phone. Um, so I would really say if, if this is it, and this is what you want to do, you want to go into journalism, it doesn't have to be your conventional journalism, it could be new media. Um, I guess, you know, the, the basics. 
um, first of all, are you confident enough to do this? Uh, are you, you know, uh, are you in creative? Because you must be very creative. The industry is very unique, and there's so many people with beautiful content being created every single day. Um, you must work hard at it. You're going to have to put in 150% uh, because that's you and it's your brand and your profile that you'll be putting out there. Um, you have, you know, it's more difficult now. You'll have to probably, you know, have a, a certain uh, personality that you must defend. So if you're going to present yourself as uh, a human rights defender and, and, and somebody who has great morals, you may want to toe that line. If you're going to want to do or have a dual personality, um, the circumstances right now cannot allow you for that. Uh, but I guess, you know, um, learn, keep learning, keep uh, creating, uh, keep at it, work hard, um, and, and, and consult. Uh, you know, talk to as many people, your peers, mentors, as many people you think can add value. Um, and read. we can find you. There's something, like read. And Josephine loves to read and not as keen a reader as Josephine. But read um, every single day, every single new information you get actually adds a lot of value in your life. All right. Well, thank you very much, Maurice. I don't Pleasure. want to take up uh, any Pleasure. more of your time, but just before we close this interview, I wanted to just let you know that we at NTV commiserate with you for the loss of your sister and we hold you and your family in our prayers. Thank you. Thank you for doing this also for thank us. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And that was Newsnight.